Alright, back here on Luke here, and today what I thought I'd do is just make a short little video here showing you guys uh, some of the Hudson selection here. And uh, if you remember, I put up uh, this video here on uh, Bokenjima, or Adventure Island. It is part of this uh, specially released uh, set. It was just uh, uh, about four of these that were released. And um, they were basically remakes of some of the older Famicom games, but they just changed the graphics a bit on them. And uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, I put up a video on this one here just recently. And some of the other ones here, uh, if you remember a long time ago, I put up some footage here on PC Genjin or Bonk's Adventure for the, uh, the GameCube. That one was a pretty wild looking one as well. It was uh, a lot of fun, really good. I, I really enjoy the graphics or the graphic style on this one. Really, you know, I don't know. It, it kind of sets it aside a little bit from some of the other Bonk's Adventure ones, but it's a, a really good one. And, uh... If you look here, you can see that uh, each one has a special volume number next to it. This one's volume 4, this one's volume 3, and uh, some of the other ones here. This is uh, volume 2, this is Star Soldier, which I haven't made a video on yet, but uh, it's a fantastic one, based off of the old Famicom Star, uh, Star Soldier there. Uh, you can see some of the graphics or the screenshots on the back here, but uh, this is another great one to play. A lot of fun, um, keeps with the same graphic style, um, all of the games in this series have the same graphic style to them, and uh, that's what makes them unique. And this one's Volume 2, and the last one is Volume 1, and this is Cubic Load Runner. And this one is a quite interesting one as well, I think I put up, maybe I put up a video on this one, maybe I didn't, I can't remember. I put up Load Runner 64, and... Yeah, I'm not sure if I put one up for this one or not. If not, I'll make another video for this one as well. But this one's a, a bit unique as well. Um, it's kind of like Load Runner 64 to an extent. Um, it has the whole 3D imaging going on here, but once again, it keeps with that same style as the other games in the series. You can see down there the old Load Runner and the old Famicom, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, nothing super special here for this video. Just thought I'd show you guys the collection for the Hudson selection here. And uh, these were just released, um, you know, at one time. Or, well, not at the same time, but they were released after, uh, like, within, I think, one month intervals or something similar to that. But, yeah. Just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a look at what the bar box art looks like here, and I'll uh, try and put up a gameplay video on the Cubic Load Runner if I uh, haven't done that already, and I know I haven't done Sol uh, Star Soldier, so I'll put one up on that. But Yeah, that's all about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.